Well, the season's coming to end. I'm going to make a few safety videos for people. Um, you see a lot of things online, poor people getting hit by cars and falling off, getting injured, and it's pretty scary. So I decided I'd make some videos that kind of go over what I do to stay safe. I've ridden over 50,000 miles. I haven't been hit by a car yet. I'm lucky and I'm kinda hate to admit it but uh, key elements about being safe include understanding where the cars are and knowing how to ride safe and have fun never ever challenge a car a car is bigger you're always going to lose don't challenge a car you need to understand these concepts the first one is field of vision. Know where the driver's field of vision is, where you're riding, and each driver that's going around you, where they're looking. That's key. The next thing is understanding driver focus. Like in this case, a driver could be distracted. They're looking over here at this farmer pulling a wagon full of animals. So know that you know those kind of things can distract drivers. Now here's an example of where I'm riding and there's this lady onto the left standing there with a push cart and this is a distraction so in this situation you know this is something you should be aware of know that drivers are looking at this lady standing there along the road a safety shadow is a bubble that's near a car and when a bicyclist is riding in this bubble you're using the car as a blocker so any as you're approaching an intersection any other automobile is not only looking at you but they're looking at this car as well so this automobile that's behind you and you're riding in this shadow is like a blocker so use the safety shadow whenever you can always maintain situational awareness what around me presents a danger what is large enough that a uh, threat where I need to stop? Always maintain situational awareness. Know where you are and any hazards that you can encounter. Never challenge an automobile. Always ride defensively. Assume the cars can't see you. And make sure that you never challenge a car. That's a big deal. So, you know, cars are bigger than you, you're going to get hurt if you run into a car. Just figure people can't see you. You know, there's lots of people out there that are mean, um, but you're not one of them. I'm going to cover three things uh, over this one. The first one will be riding on a bike lane or shoulder, riding on a bike path, riding a single lane without a shoulder. So the first one I'm going to be discussing in episode one will be riding on a bike lane or shoulder. These are things you can do to make yourself safe riding on a bike lane or shoulder. It's great. You just ride down the old bike lane, everything's good. So here's an example of uh, riding a bike lane. During this segment I'm going to discuss a car turning right in front of the rider. Yeah, the rider's just going along here in the bike path, having a great time. The car passes and then turns right, right in front of them. So this is something that happens. Um, riders are a lot faster than a lot of automobiles give them credit for. Here I am riding along and car passes me and all of a sudden they make this right turn. So I've got to be prepared for that. So these are the things, a uh, good example of what can happen and uh, cut you off. Here are a couple factors that I like to do to help make me safe. Is once I'm in this circumstance, I'm always aware of where the driver's focused. They're not focused on me. They think they've passed me. They're looking in the right turn lane to g make their move um, going in the direction of their turn. So know that where the driver's focus is. Don't, if a car passes you, just pull in behind them. Don't uh, assume they see you, just pull right in behind it and then keep uh, aware of can I stay out of harm's way. During this next segment I'll talk about a right turn lane. So uh, the rider's going along and uh, there's a right turn lane where a car could cut you off. In this circumstance I would recommend that as you approach the intersection and when it's safe to do you pull right in into traffic. 
And if you don't, this is the kind of thing that can happen where you get cut off by a car moving into the right turn lane. So as soon as it's safe to do so, what I like to do is to pull left into the field of traffic and uh, that way I'm in the driver's focus. So this is an uh, example where you don't want to get cut off because the driver's focus is not on you. So as soon as you can, just move left into the um, direction of traffic, right into the traffic, and then sit in uh, behind a car. That way, any following cars can easily move into the right turn lane. Then once the light turns green, you can pull right back into the bike lane and continue on your merry way. This works well even if there's more than you know three or four cars they start to back up just pull right out into the middle of traffic find your spot and sit there don't try to sneak up on the right hand side or anything this next segment will discuss a car turning left in front of the rider so this is a similar circumstance where their field of vision is looking for an oncoming automobile. They may, be, may not be looking at the bike lane. So in this example, um, I'll always try and pull out into the lane and make myself big because and get, move my bike into the driver's focus. So that way they're going to be looking uh, where the cars would normally come and be looking at me. I look down the driver look for a turn signal and look at like, making eye contact. In this next example the driver turns right in front of me and a similar thing where I'm coming along in the bike lane and I'm not in the field of vision so the driver is really not looking where I'm riding so again pull out into the lane may put yourself in the driver's focus so when you're riding they can see you that's the same same thing all the way around as you can see when I approach an intersection I always pull out into the lane. Here's an example of where I'm riding along in the bike lane and I'm coming up to a red light. So what I'll do is when it's safe to do so I'll just pull right out into traffic and block the lane. And then once the light turns I'll move to the right and allow this car behind me to block for me and ride in the safety shadow all the way through the intersection. Since I'm riding in the safety shadow, cars that might want to turn left or right, they're going to see this car coming and uh, they're not going to pull out in front of me because if they do, they're going to be in an accident with another automobile. So this is where I, I can uh, do a pretty good job of staying out of harm's way by riding in the safety shadow. So if you're riding through a busy intersection and there's plenty of cars zooming by and you can find a good spot to go through and just kind of go through in a safety shadow, it's probably the best place to be. So sometimes a little extra traffic can be an asset because you have more blockers to use in your favor to ride in the safety shadow and then that way the driver's focus is on the automobile and uh, you just kind of ride along right in this little safety shadow so a good place to be whenever you're riding so think about this as you're pulling through an intersection am I in a safety shadow then after the if you start in the middle of the lane and then after the light turns green then you immediately move to the right and you pull through the intersection just ahead of or along with the car. So then uh, the other cars that are going to make their move, you're not in the way. So this is a something to think about when you're moving through an intersection is where is the safety shadow. And uh, you know, block the lane when you get stopped and stay right out there in the middle of the driver's focus. And you can even do this if you're in the second uh, or third car back. So one of the things is think about this when you're in traffic, where is the safety shadow? So a lot of people, I was out today and a woman went by in this situation, there was three or four cars and she went zooping down the bike lane uh, and passing everybody. And then she, all of a sudden she's in someone's blind spot. And this is where you can get yourself in trouble. So just remember that when you're riding, where's the safety shadow? And the next video I do is going to be about riding on a bike path. So uh, stay tuned. We'll be in one of these every week or so, and we'll talk about riding on a bike path. A person might think that's safe, but uh, there's some dangers to be aware of when you're riding on a bike path. 
Thanks for tuning in, and I'm glad you enjoy these Me and B production videos. The uh, season's coming to a close. I'll do a few of these safety videos, and then uh, I'll probably take some time off until next spring and be putting some more videos up. Stay safe out there, everybody.